welcome once more to a uh, very... I'm trying to theme each episode now. Have you noticed that? I noticed. I want to call it like a very something, one. very something episode, but I can't. I can't think. Of I what this can't. Would be. There isn't really a connection. There isn't a connection between the two. That doesn't have to be, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, wait, I know a very movie centric episode because they're all Cause, movies. Because <laughs> they're all movies. That's pretty good. Uh, of Shane Jordan go boating, and I'm Jordan. And I'm Shay. Yeah, so that's Shay just sort of getting into the driver's seat, putting on her seatbelt, mm-hmm. checking yeah, her you... mirrors. Yeah, looking, you know, reapplying my sure makeup. Her, yeah, making sure the mm-hmm. eyeliner is okay. And then she goes, oh, and I'm Shay. And then, oh, well, I had to put up the directions for you first to, so you knew where we were going. Yeah, absolutely. I always I always say, oh, I don't need the directions. But then halfway through, you're always like, well, you, you're you lost. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm not lost. I've taken a different route. Yeah, you're taking the scenic route, you always say. I'm taking the scenic route. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm, interesting. Um, And this is on our boat, of course, not our car. Because this is Shane Jordan Go Boating, the movie mapping podcast. Yes. And the movies we are going to map today for you, well, obviously, with our new release, we're going to go over to... Is it in France or Switzerland? Oh. Uh, While you look that up. Yeah. um, We, for the new release, are talking about Justine Trier, her new movie, um, Anatomy of a Fall, about a man falling over. (laughs) <laughs> and yeah it's kind of like buster really keaton-esque yeah absolutely um starring the uh uh the uh effervescent sandra Huda. <laughs> you always say effervescent you realize that yeah i think it's a good i think it's a good description of people effervescent she's very yeah. effervescent in this effervescent. movie sandra Huda. sandra Huda. um, um... and you got an answer for me there, Shabert? Huh? You got an answer for me there? Yeah, France. As as yeah, I France. always said, it's France or France. See, I always thought same. it was France. And then I feel like I saw someone or heard someone the other day say something about Switzerland. And I was like, is it just because it's snowy? They think it's it looks very Switzerland. But yeah, I guess. Um, and for our next link in the chain. For our next link in I the fucking chain, know. following up. Following on from Stroshek, uh, we went through collaborator Les Blank, uh, and mm. we we watched his movie uh, Gap Toothed Women. Um, and you also watched Garlic is as good as Ten Mothers, but I didn't get round to it. But I have yeah, seen it before many I, years ago. Because I did the homework. You did the homework, um, and you guys should have seen the way Shay was berating me before this episode started. Yeah, she it's made like, she made as... me slap my own wrists and your own ass. But that was just ass. for my own my own pleasure. Yeah, you know? she makes me do that anyway. Um, my panther. That's a very cute little toy you've got there. <laughs> uh, where? Why do you have that? <laughs> I was trying to remember where or when I got this. I have no recollection, but he's fun. That almost makes it kind of scary. If you don't remember where. Can you see what I've got behind me here? Hanging up. Is it a dog? No, it's a carcass of a uh, monkey. <laughs> okay. I mean cool. it's uh it, it was a it was a pinata that we put up for my friend's birthday. For a Kiko. Um, for a Kiko, my friend a Kiko, yeah. And she she destroyed birthday. it. Wow. Yeah, she she tore it to shreds. Um <laughs> That's great. Yeah, lots of sweets came out of it. Mm, I love candy. Have you ever done a piñata? Oh, I'm sure when I was young. I haven't as an you ins- adult. Are you insulting me? Idea. No, 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 no. I think that's You're saying that it's only for children? No, I think it's great that you're in touch with your childlike sense of wonder. Yeah, that's how many people describe me. Yeah, <laughs> especially when Nekof- you're... Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. Your coffee looks tasty. Is what I was gonna say. I'm very jealous. It looks very nice drinking in that mug. All I've got is a mere glass of water. Are you trying to make me feel bad for the fact that I 
should have brought you one of these mugs. No, no. I thought you were going to say should have got me a coffee for this episode. <laughs> yeah, man. Wait, you didn't make me a coffee. I know. I, that was a bit rude of me. How many miles away are we from each other, Shay? Should I, should I Google it? Yes. Normally you can do that kind of subtly and pretend that you know. Excuse me? You, you doing saying... things subtly. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe not. Okay, wow. I, I'm getting berated over here. And I'm just trying yeah, to Google you're, something. It's because you're concentrating. I know that I can just take advantage <laughs> of that. 4,913 miles. 4,913 miles from one another. Do you want to know how many kilometers? I'm more a miles guy, but yeah, do that for our Euro friends, Why? I guess. Oh, do you use miles in London? Well, we use miles in the UK, yeah. Didn't know that. Uh, okay, for our European listeners, it's 7,907 kilometers. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. But we can be in the same room right here, right now. Good old technology. Anyway. I feel like uh, you're dragging out the intro section because you didn't watch the Because I did, only did film, half the homework. Or yeah, maybe. Film. Yeah. Um, three films, it's a lot to do, you know? I'm mm. a busy guy. <laughs> Akiko's birthday took up the whole weekend. It was a whole thing. Uh, that sounds fun. Anyway, Anatomy of a Fall. This is the newest release. We're on the Palm Door and the Palm Dog. Yeah, man. For that Snoop, that very cute that dog Snoop. Snoop feller. Mm. He, was, he was a great actor. Fantastic dog. Great, great dog. Um, so this movie is about uh, a couple. A couple. Who One of whom dies. Couple, one of whom dies in a mysterious, is it accident, was it a murder, mm. whilst their blind son is on a walk. Up in the cabin in the snowy Alps, French. I guess. The French side. French side. Of course. Um, um, that's the general and... gist of it. And then, and then uh, she's accused of the murder and she has to go on trial. And she's got a, a lawyer friend who helps her. Yeah, the lawyer who I said looks like River, River Phoenix. And I want to... Which hear... I do not agree with. Yes, you know, he a friend does. Of, a, friend of, a friend of mine at work said that she found him very attractive. Yeah, he's so hot. And I don't think he... I think he looks too much like a lizard. He's got a very good head of hair, though. I'll give him that. Okay, but don't you think well, he looks like a lizard? Yes. He looks like a lot of animals, Um, but he's mm. sexy. It was interesting. I'm a known do furry have a com- because I, I am attracted to Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. That is on record. And, like repeated very often like you don't want people to forget i think it's a fun fact you know Mm, i guess so recently i Uh, met someone else who thought he was sexy and i felt so seen and bugs bugs bunny or the lawyer no bugs bunny it's unanimous that the lawyer is sexy i think i think anyone who finds bugs bunny attractive probably finds the lawyer attractive i bet there's a (laughs) one-to-one correlation there yeah, hundred percent crossover. Mm. So anyway, this is Justin Trier's maybe third or fourth film or something. I watched Sybil not that long ago, mm-hmm. which I didn't care for. It started pretty good, but it just kind of fell apart. I don't really know what it was doing. Um, but yeah, it. Anatomy of a Fall. What were your uh, what were your initial thoughts, and then we can delve into it a little bit. Um, when I first watched it, I was like, it's now it's been like three weeks since I saw it, but. When I first watched, I was like, that's pretty good. But I think I thought about it more and more, and I, I did really like it a lot. I'm a big Interesting. fan. Interesting. I feel like I've kind of gone slightly the other way, in which when mm-hmm. I was watching it, I was having a really, really good time. And by the time it came to its conclusion, I was like, this is good. And then ever since then, I've kind of been like, do I do was I really though? know what this film is trying to actually like do? Like obviously there are elements of it that are no doubt like really really incredible, um, but right. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, like the 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 dialogue is actually really like magnificent. Like the mm-hmm. the argument scene that they have is 
very well scripted and very well acted, which is very hard yeah. to do for an argument scene. Like we've all seen Marriage yeah. Story. Um, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> argument felt very real and hurt, hurt me. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, that guy obviously he's on the same antidepressants as me. Yeah, he is a writer who has no faith in himself. Yeah, <laughs> um, and he's sad all the time. And his wife killed him, just like mine. Yeah. No, my wife didn't kill me. Yet. Yet. Yeah, yet. Um... Uh, Je I just want to clear this up, just in case I do get murdered in a court of law. I just want to use this episode to say that I very much doubt that my wife killed me. Yeah. If it's very, movie... very unlikely. <laughs> if the movie has shown us anything, you should get that on record. Yes, I want to I make that abundantly clear, Shay. So if you're For still around weird. after my murder, please point them to this episode, Anatomy of a Fool slash Les Blank. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I haven't been murdered by myself by then. Mm, that would be a shame. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Sandra Hula is amazing. I love her. Uh, yeah, she's a very, very tough. All the actors were really, really good. I thought. Do you also? I know maybe this isn't like maybe this is a bit of just like a. I'm a classic guy saying this, but like she's kind of a hottie, isn't she? Sandra. Yeah, she's got a, kind of like hot mum energy. I love that. I don't know if I agree yeah. necessarily. I feel I like she she's... was very dominant. You know. Yeah, I think she's sexy. I don't know if I. Feel find her super attractive if that makes sense well you can have the pretty boy lawyer I, and thank I'll, you. I'll have sandra yeah he is my crush of the week to be fair these are the kind of conversations i have and then i'm like isa don't don't tell anyone i said this but i've just said this and it's going to go out into the world forever i'm normally a pervert behind doors but now i am on the uh, airwaves i like to be publicly a pervert Especially towards Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Just posting pictures of him without his consent. With his little puffed up chest, you know? Yeah, just saying stuff like that, like, I want to want to be all over this puffed up chest. <laughs> he, he comments underneath, like, please stop posting these. Oh my god, he's he has a restraining <laughs> order. <laughs> um... And I think a special mention to that kid actor, I haven't looked up his name, but he was like he was phenomenal. He was real good. Maybe one of the best kid actors I've How ever did seen that... in a movie. Yeah, he was unreal. How did he like cry so realistically? I, I have know. no idea. What the fuck? What 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 happened to that kid? I don't know. I he's got he's blessed. I think. I hope it's not like trauma. I hope it's all just like a gift from the gods. It's just purely talent passed down. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a really cool exploration of like truth, like in the sense of like you have all these details about a marriage, but that doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily convey the full truth of like what Absolutely. people are and what a relationship is. Um, yeah, I really liked that. And I liked the use of PIMP <laughs> version. I'm so when I heard, <laughs> when I heard that, I thought, wow, I didn't realize that 50 cents PIMP was like sampled from like an old song, but then it's the other way around where it's an instrumental no, yeah. version of PIMP. Um, so that was a fun ride for me. Uh, what a fun ride. Uh, it was very interesting to see the French court system. I feel like I've only ever seen it in um, La Verité. Have you seen that movie with Bridget Bardot? I think it's a Clouseau movie or something. Nope. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, a lot of people are making fun of it. Like, they're like, wow, they'll just let you do anything in French court. Like, yeah, but like, have the you book? seen American courts? Fucking stupid. <laughs> How so? I, I explain what you mean. It's like, it's so theatrical and dumb. How is it for you? Uh, I don't know. I've not really seen that many courtroom practices here, and I've not really seen any British courtroom dramas. Maybe I need to do that and sort of, yeah, you know, figure that out. Yeah, before but you yeah, start talking I mean, shit on my shit. I've seen your crazy OJ trial and stuff like that, you know. It is very theatrical, but that's part of the fun, you know. 
It's not supposed to be fun, Shay. <laughs> well, it is. It's supposed to be getting towards the truth. You disagree? No, I agree. I agree. I okay, thinking. good. <laughs> what, what else do you think about this movie? Um, it was really, really well edited for the most part and made decisions that I was very happy that it did. Basically, this whole film feels like in the wrong hands. It could very easily feel contrived and silly. Mm -hmm. And even the premise, I was kind of worried because I was like, Oh, a woman kills her, maybe kills her husband, and the only potential witness is her blind son. I was like, that's the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It's yeah, that like does sound hell. very Lifetime movie-esque. Exactly. But as it as it plays out in the movie, like it's not that he, his blindness has got nothing to do with whether he saw it or not. You know, it's just to do with, you know, other aspects of their relationship. It's not like he's a witness or anything. Um I guess he is, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. But also in that sense, there's so many editing choices that it makes where I was kind of worried, especially, uh, yeah, when PIMP is playing and um, it's cutting to shots of around the house, just like empty. And I was worried it was going to like cut to the beat. <laughs> um, but all of the editing is just like really. Oh, cut to the beat. Yeah. Yeah really smartly done and it, it, it stays away from anything obvious. And there's only one point in the movie where I was like, I hate the way they've done this. But that was a, uh, it's the thing I think I've talked to you about before. It's like a visceral problem I have. It's not even like, part. I mean, I hate it on two counts. I hate it stylistically in this movie and I hate it on a, a physical level is um, there's a moment where someone's testimony is uh, said by them, by the kid, and uh, it's cut into the scene with the person who supposedly said it, but using their voice. So yeah, I know what you're stuff, talking about. And I, I hate that. I hate that as a choice, but also seeing people That's why I can't watch lip syncing. You know, it makes me, it makes me really uncomfortable. It's not even intellectual. Yeah. It's fully yeah. just like. That moment felt very like out of place in the rest of mm, the movie. And it does it was, feel out of place, doesn't it? it unnecessary too. Like, it would have been mm. so nice. It's a spoiler, what I want to say. But, yeah, it felt out of place. Um, mm. Loved the movie, though. I really liked it. Yeah, it was good. Well, it was good. I want to hear more about what you didn't like. Uh, like, I think, I think that's what I'm saying is, like, ultimately, there's not anything in particular I didn't like. It's just when it kind of came to a head. I was maybe a little bit disappointed in its conclusion. Not that I wanted like more definitive answers or anything. I just meant, I just mean, I'm not sure what the point of the whole thing is outside of showing uh, the truth that we don't know how other people's relationships function. We only know kind of like how we only know our own suffering or whatever we only know like the information we know we don't actually know about the dynamics between people and it's kind of like an impossibility to know and that shapes yeah. how much that shapes the truth you know um but outside of that point which is a really interesting point i just didn't yeah. really feel like it was doing much else but maybe i'm being too harsh on it well, I think the reason I'm being so harsh on it is because it's being received like so well. And obviously it won the yeah. Pandora. I'm just like, does it really have the edge that makes you go, this movie deserves to be talked about? Like, I don't think, I don't feel like this film's going to go down in film history. Whereas I feel like things, things that win the Palm Door should maybe, I don't know. But it's not always going to be one every year. Yeah, well. that's interesting. I, I, I see your point. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I I do kind of hesitate to call it like this, like a, a masterpiece or something. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I really liked it and I really respect it. Mm. And yeah, I had fun watching it. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a fun watch. And all the performances are good. And my sexy lawyer husband is there. <laughs> Have you seen if he's in anything else of interest? Yeah, I was looking at that. His name is Swan Arlo. 
Swan oh. Arnold. I didn't really know anything he was in. It just seems very French. Yeah, very French. Well, it's funny you said he looks like a lizard because in the movie she says, she's like, I can't trust anyone if I can't put an animal over their face or something. Yeah, like and I was just like being stared at by a lizard man. I was like, <laughs> I got the answer for you right here. <laughs> that made me think that she killed him, you know? That made me go, hmm, maybe she did it. Why? Uh, that's because that's kind of like know. psychotic behavior. Yeah, it's very psychotic to not notice that that guy looks like a lizard. Yeah, that is true. Honestly, I didn't realize it was... A, I knew he looked like some animal, and now that you've said lizard, it's it's very true. Or like a gecko or something. Yeah, he looks like a gecko. It's literally like a gecko. Oh, I think man. about the Geico gecko, and I see him, and they're the same guy. They do, really. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a crush on the Geico gecko? I don't not have a crush on him. He's mm. kind of fun. <laughs> He's kind of charismatic. Sometimes when I stream sports, there's a I stream football, there's a or soccer. Uh, the guy Ko oh. Gecko will pop up on screen and he'll uh, do a little keepy ups with the ball, and that's always quite fun to watch him do. Keepy ups, like what does that you mean? You know, like you keep you keep the ball up in the air, you kick it in the air and keep keep it in the oh, air. And he does that. Yeah, he does that nice. with his little wry smile on his face. <laughs> so deeply wry. That little wow. gecko bastard. That little green um, fuck. That little green fuck. So yeah, Anatomy of a Fall. I give it the thumbs up. Yeah, I give it. I give it many thumbs up. Um, and it's a good time at the movie. So yeah, go see it. Far, far you know, better direct- than last week's pile of shit. Oh, the killer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What won the Palma d'Or last year? I feel like I didn't love it. Oh, yeah. Look that up. I want to know. Palme d'Or. Was it like Palme Titan d'Or. or something? No, I think that was the year before. It was Triangle of Sadness. Oh, okay. I, I kind of like that movie. I Again, like that. it's like, it's, I don't know. I don't know what the Palme d'Or jury is like. It is crazy that. Ruben won it twice. What was the other one? The square. Even more. Yeah, the square. Thoughts yeah, on the square? they're very. I like it. I like it, but they're all kind of like yeah, international crowd pleasing films, international art house crowd pleasing films. Um, it'd be nice if something slightly more cutting won one year, but I doubt that's that's not really what the Pandora is for. I guess. Yeah, it was it's for the best was... in slick uh european filmmaking yes <laughs> <laughs> yes sir i don't like um, any of the awards bodies they can all go fuck themselves we should do an awards um thing at the end of the year we should do what we should uh, like our uh, awards. awards yeah, yeah let's totally do that that sounds fun that'd be fun that'd be fun make a note of that Okay. <laughs> um, I'm very, I'm very low light today. I look gray. Yeah, you always realize that at some point. Mm. And I never make an effort to change it. No, you do sometimes. I do sometimes, but not today. Um. Yeah. So that's Anatomy of a Fall. I'd say go see it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what she does next as well. Yeah. Justine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw you watched uh, um, May December, but we can talk about that next week. We'll do that next week. Absolutely, we will. That's an exciting one. To every talk time about. I say that, every time I say May December, I think in my head, May December be with you. Thoughts on that? That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. No, I feel like yeah. I've had that thought as well. It doesn't happen every time, but maybe I'll think of it now. Yeah, unfortunately, you probably will. Um, do you like Richard Scary books? Do I like what? Sorry, Richard Scary. Who's Richard Scary? <laughs> he writes children's books. Uh, I don't read children's books. I'm an adult. Okay. Richard my, Scary. My question remains. Uh, no, I've never him? read a. Oh. I've never read a Richard Scary book. That's crazy, man. Also, you cut. You shouldn't be a children's writer if your last name is Scary. That's true. <laughs> that is true. 
That must have been really difficult for him. He must have been really up against it when he started off. Yeah, he, they were like, you'll never make it in this business. <laughs> <laughs> the name like that. He proved them all wrong. He did. Um, <clears throat> Why'd you bring him up? I don't know. I just saw a picture of something. Um. So I'll link in the chain. Yeah, our link we went from v- Werner Hurt talk to Les Blank. Um, because who, Les uh, Blank worked on Strohsack. Yes, he did indeed. And those two have a history of working together. Obviously, Les Blank did the um, Fitzcarraldo doc, Burden of Dreams. You ever see that? No. Oh, because you haven't seen Fitzcarraldo, right? Nope. Wow. You've got you a like good four, four hours of content for you there. I know. Yeah, I love them both. They're both great. Both so great. Um, I I think I mentioned this last week, but Les Blank is like an enormous blind spot for me. I think I'd only seen... A blank spot, if you will. Blank spot, yeah. Um, I'd only seen the gap tooth women just because I had a gap tooth. And Show us your I... teeth right now. Why did you... How did you... Did you get braces or something? No, they just they have like uh shit they fill it in with. That's fucked up. I know. I I'm I How old I were you when you did that? Middle school. So I don't know. How old are you in middle school? I don't 15? know. I don't 12? have that. That's 12? crazy, man. I guess this I if you'd seen this movie earlier, you would have been like, No, I love my gap too. I know. I was it's so stupid. I was so it's so insecure about it. Um mm. But I could fit like so, a quarter and my tongue in there is wow. a big one. Uh, so yeah, Gap Tooth Woman is sort of our main focus today. Uh, Les Blank is a guy. I don't really know all that much about him outside of his uh, his stuff with um, with Werner Hurt or like, you know, stuff adjacent to Werner Herzog. Um, but yeah, I read his he... Wikipedia earlier. Oh yeah. Do you have some, do you have some hot, hot Les Blank stuff for me? There wasn't anything that exciting. Like he's from Florida. And Very cool. He got his master's in filmmaking and then he like did some commercial stuff and then was like, mm-hmm. fuck that. And then just like made his own silly little documentaries about. That's great. This. A lot of them were about musicians. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lightning Hopkins. Yep. And did that till the day he died. Mad respect to the guy. Yeah, really cool guy. His really, really great documentary about... filmmaker. Yeah, I definitely think so now. They're just um just very watchable, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of like the what are you looking at? stuff. I feel like I'm looking at his Wikipedia page. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, kind of like the early Errol Morris stuff. They have a sort of similar sensibility, I think, in terms of mm-hmm. finding curious people. I mean, that's probably why him, Werner Herzog, and uh, yeah, them all were friends, you know, because they all had a sort of similar eye for the quirkier side of uh, life, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, they do all have their own unique flair with it, though, you know? They do, they do, it's true. Like, I um, feel like Les doesn't focus on... Well, I guess... Never mind, I take it back. What were you going to say? Because we can work off of that. Well, I was going to say, like, he doesn't focus on, like, one single person as much, but that's not true. Like, he made the Lightning Hopkins ones. Oh, um, yeah, true. But it feels like in these two, at least, the two that I watched... They're kind of more exploring a topic in yeah. this broader sense. Um, rather than like I feel like Errol Morris and Werner focus on like a person more. Yeah, I see what of... you mean. Anyways. Yeah, I mean I think yeah, maybe Les Blank's more interested in like what a community of people look like. Yeah. And how they link together, even if they're not part of the same community, if they're part of the same thing, like garlic or having gap teeth <laughs> um having damn gap teeth what did you think of garlic is as good as 10 mothers i thought it was great <laughs> yeah i remember um, really loving it yeah it was just um i don't know like comforting 
and mm. I just liked how it explored this topic so seriously. And one person was talking about garlic euphoria, like the kind mm-hmm, of high mm-hmm. you get when you're on garlic. He was like, it's different than another kind of high. It makes you feel grounded and part of the world. <laughs> someone also said, I am a victim of garlic. It's kind of silly fun. But then it yeah. made me like really want to eat some fucking garlic, you know? Yeah, it does make you do that. Um, and gap tooth swimming makes you want a gap gap teeth, really, doesn't it? Or in my case, makes you ashamed of the fact that you've gotten rid of your gap teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another friend whose review is that they missed their gap tooth, and I think that they probably did something similar to you or got them corrected with braces or something. Need to ask. You mean similar to my review? Because that's exactly what I said in mine. Wow, I meant similar to what you said, but also to your review. Then that's crazy. Uh, know it seems to be a common thing. Uh, no, you don't know them. Sorry about that. Maybe you can know them. It's Saskia, my friend Saskia. Shout out to her. Um, Shout out. Uh, but yeah, there's something very pure at heart about both of these movies. I think, um, obviously, Gap Tooth Women is, um, you know, what could just be a kind of silly conceit and be like a ten minute long thing. Yeah. He gives space to all of these people to kind of fill in their own like background on this stuff as well. From Jenny, obviously, as like corny as it sounds, but like everyone's from all different walks of life and stuff, you know? Yeah. They're all from very different backgrounds, all different ages. And some of them say some really incisive things and, you know, talk about political things as well that like come, come about with this in terms of like beauty standards and race and yes. stuff like this. It was actually one of the white women who said that as well. And I was kind of surprised. She was like, a middle-aged white woman in the 80s who was had a finger on the pulse of like beauty standards in magazines and how if you're a yeah. person of color looking at a white person all the time it makes you feel shit like mm. it does when you see don't see people with gap teeth yeah man yeah it, it feels like he covers like all these different perspectives so effortlessly mm-hmm. and like yeah gets the perfect snippets from everyone to create this like well-rounded thing Mm. um yeah and i I like i was the thing about beauty standards was so interesting because it's like what i considered beautiful at fucking 13 years old is Mm -hmm. completely different than what i do now and when i was 13 and got rid of my gap teeth like i shouldn't have been allowed to change something like that at that age yeah 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 Absolutely. Um, but also I like the there's a woman in it who like has cancer and it's like kind of like who fucking cares about what you look like at the end of the day. Yeah, like, yeah, you should yeah. Just be thankful to be alive. And I like what she was saying about like he, she used to be afraid of like getting old, but it's really like a privilege. And something yeah, like gap absolutely. teeth is something that makes you different, which is really beautiful too. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think this film would just be really good to show anyone in the world. It's just like so humanist and real, and it's just like a a lovely message without it being like a message movie. It's just um, yes, yeah, so pleasant and warmed my heart. Warmed my. I needed the cockles it. Cockles of my heart. Mmm, those cockles. Those cockles. Um, those cold, cold cockles of yours. So, something about his movies make me like happy i'm american it's just like a cute little americana vibe yeah absolutely it does they he does find the again that's kind of the same with um which is rare um, by the way yeah there, there's certain filmmakers who do have their finger on like what makes americans actually interesting and where the interesting people are in america um <laughs> yeah yeah uh it feels like less really likes is kind of part of the hippie culture yeah absolutely absolutely big hippie energy um, and that's another Someone... cool thing about the garlic one is it's like about supporting like local farmers and mm, being mm. conscious of where your food comes from and not want needing your food to be like this accessible like quick i don't know mindless thing um and yeah, yeah it's absolutely. not like shoving it in your face. It's just kind of showing these people and the care they put into it and stuff. Yeah. 
thing people i think a lot of documentary makers could learn a thing or two from him modern documentary is so dead when you think about where modern documentary is now how far it has come from something like this yeah it's um, like almost a completely different thing yeah absolutely and obviously films like this you do have to have a special talent because i don't think i could just go out tomorrow and film everyone who has a mustache and get something as good as that you know you know you have to know how to ask the right questions you know how to know to find the right people yeah. and end up putting it together this was edited by what's her name because i think it's very much worth shouting her out because um uh i don't think it would be probably half as good if it was not with her you know yes. still for me i can't find her name <laughs> gap toothed women uh, I like the lady who designed the poster. I like that the poster's already designed before the film is done as well. You know, I know, that was movie. so funny. <laughs> yeah, she was awesome. Uh, Maureen Gosling. I knew that was her name. I should have just should have just said it, shouldn't I? I should have trusted myself. You have myself. to trust yourself, honey. I really do. But she worked with him lots uh, on his shorts, I think. Uh, oh, maybe some of his future ones as well. Um, yeah, her editing is something very special, I think. Uh Ooh, In Heaven There Is No Beer. That's a Les mm. Blank movie. That sounds fun. That's a good title. Yeah, I think, yeah, I could just spend a, a whole day watching all of these sort of, like, shorts of his. They're so great. Did you ever see the yeah. one where Werner Herzog eats his shoe? Yeah, that's the other one I've seen. I had seen two, and that was the other one. Yeah. It's a good one. Of course I had seen that one. <laughs> Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Werner's in the garlic one talking about how in his Nosferatu the garlic doesn't really play into that. Oh <laughs> yeah, this rings a bell. Which was like, it was cool to see him but he didn't really have anything that insightful to say about it. <laughs> he was just like, I have nothing to say. I have nothing yeah. to add. He was like, yeah, I just, I didn't add that in. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, you know, sometimes you just got to put your famous friends in things. Totally. And he, he has a good vibe, good presence. Oh, great vibe. You know, my, my favorite Werner Herzog appearance is in Vin Vendor's documentary about Ozu. Mm. He has a really good bit. Uh, have you seen that movie? I can't remember no. what it's called. I have not. Um, I'd recommend it. I'm not going to spoil it. Just watch the whole movie. It's one of my faves for sure. Do you like Vim Vendors? Doc. Oh, I love Vim Vendors. Me too. Me uh, too. When he's great, he's insanely good. So, yeah. Yeah, it is interesting how he and, and Werner both made good narrative and good documentary. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tricky thing to do. They're kind of com two completely different things. Um. And Vim Vendors is document. No, that I mean, they do all sort of have like a house style even within them. Like, there's so many staged bits in Vim Vendors. Um, one about Nicholas Ray, mm. but they have this obvious. Yeah, they're framed like a Vim Vendors movie, but they have this like documentary feel running through them because you're like, well, this is obviously true to life, but this has to have been set up in a certain way for it to look this way. Uh, anyway, we're not talking about Vim Vendors. I don't know why I'm going off on a tangent. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> um, he's got two new movies out this year, the crazy fucker. And he's old. Take a break, Vim. Yeah, take a break. Leave some for the rest of us. Truly. Um. <laughs> yeah, any other thoughts? Yeah, you I'm share excited about these to guys? watch more Les Blank. I, I am, you know, sort of sad i haven't explored him before but also excited for my future of getting to yeah sometimes him. it's nice to have a blind spot that you get to sort of pick yeah. up on and then you have a whole a whole repertoire of stuff to go through thank you less thank you less thank you for your service he's the real real hero he you seems say? like he's done a lot of psychedelics and had a lot of crazy sex <laughs> A boy can dream. A boy can dream, you know. You're the boy, by the way. I am, yeah. You're a boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks for telling me my gender. 
do you have anything else to say before we sort of uh, wrap I feel up like a I bit? just clearly wrapped up. I said thank you less, and I said he seems like he's done a lot of psychedelics and had a lot of fun, crazy. Oh sex. yeah, that's totally true. You did say that. Okay, uh, so where do we go from here, my friend? I think there's a kind of an obvious person to go through at least for me. I wonder if who? you agree. Who? Uh, Lauren Hutton. She makes a big appearance oh. in Gap Tooth Women. Okay. Laura Hutton, uh, obviously famously has a gap teeth, and uh, it was really sweet hearing the people talk about her being like, oh, have you seen that Laura Hutton's on the, the cover of Vogue or whatever? You don't have to get rid of your gap tooth. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool part. I I, uh, I like her. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to see The Gambler, so I'm going to put that out there. Okay, I've never seen that, so that's a, a great option. And it's James Caan, you know. We love him. We, we love, love our him. James Caan. Um, we love, I already watched American Gigolo this year, so we can't yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm not really in the mood for that either. Um, I feel like that just makes sense as the next place to go. Like, I don't even think we really have to... I'm fucking down. Um, ...mull over it. Yeah, fuck it, let's do that. Do you like Los Angeles Plays Itself? It's one of my favorite movies of all time, Shay. It's so good, right? Oh my god, I was scared yeah. you were gonna not like it. but No, no, I, I love it. I love Tom Anderson very, very dear to my heart. I think he's um one of the best film writers of all time in terms of his writing on film. Mm -hmm. And he's a great documentary filmmaker as well. I've got his book, Slow Slow Writing, I think it's called. Um, and it's a collection of all of his writing from like the 60s to recently. And it's really, really amazing stuff. Highly recommend the book. Glad hey, that's my it. book recommendation for the week. Good. Slow Writing by Tom Anderson. I don't think I have a recommendation this week. Did you not watch any good movies this week? Not really. Damn. No. I had a busy week. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I guess you'd recommend one of those Les Blank ones then, I guess, huh? Yeah, I recommend those. Also, recommend maybe to watch May, December, because then we can, we're going to be talking about it next week. I recommend that as well. I, rec mm -hmm. I, I recommend uh, the New York Times crossword. <laughs> Did he? I feel like you recommended that last week as well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you gotta get a grip, man. I know. Uh, I recommend you. my I, my Olympus camera. I got it in a state sale. I've been liking using that. Oh, that's nice. Good for you. Is it's so exciting? I dropped my film off yesterday, and I can't wait oh. to see what it looks like. Send me some of the pictures, okay? Okay. You promise? Promise. Pinky promise right here, right now. <laughs> I got a cut on my hand. My cat, my cat scratched me. Ouch. Yeah. It was my fault. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Uh, um, you don't have anything what? else? I don't know. Uh, no, I have nothing else to add. I think that's, I think that's us done. Um, and if you want to continue to watch along, watch the listen and build the chains. What is it again? Join us on our journey. Listen. Join us along. on our journey. Listen along and build the chain, and build with, the us. chain with us. You're and next there. week we'll be watching. Well, next week we'll be watching The Gambler by Carol uh, Rice. Reese. Well, it's sending you off to sleep. Whatever it is. Yeah. She's big yawn. Um, and we'll see you next week for that. And uh, May December. May December, May December be with you. May December be with you. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye.